What's happening, guys? It's your boy, Russell Hans. And we are doing the player's performance in the Russell Crown on the Russell Hans Show. Let's go. Now, I feel like I'm on Survivor, man. Like, how come mosquitoes are out in the wintertime? We don't know. First, we'll talk about Mike Gabler. Now, the last couple of series here i'm talking about how maybe he's picking it up maybe he's doing a little bit better to learn to stab people in the back uh i'm still on the same page with mike uh he's playing a he's playing a good social game and somewhat of a strategic game let's see if that works in the last two episodes i think we only have two left so let's see if that works for him, and then we'll go from there and talk about that. But uh, I think that the 52-year-old Mike Gabler is going in the right direction, nonetheless. Next. Uh, okay, so Owen. Still, we have Owen doing the same old, same old that we've seen from day one. We even see Owen talking about how he's not a good player. How he is Charlie Brown trying to kick the football. Now, if Owen actually wins the game, and he don't think he's good at all at the game, how does that work? Is that called a flaw in the game? It may be. I think that these players are... They, there's just not a, a lot of great players anymore that we see that dominate. We have a couple uh, this season. I don't know if you would call it complete domination, but compared to the rest, Owen is definitely not one that is dominating. So if Owen accidentally gets it to the end and wins, then... We have a lot to talk about if that happens. Next. See, I have to scroll through now. Now, I said a long time ago. I'm not going to... I haven't uh, a clip I'm going to play from a previous episode, but I'm not going to play this one. I said that when Jesse was in full control, I said, I think that Cody is more in control than Jesse. If you watch my show, you've seen me say that. And I still think that. I think Cody is in co complete control of this game. And if they can't see this, even after he found the idol, right? He finds, not an idol, that thing that everybody is looking for. And the camera is behind the tree. I'm going I'm to stay calm right now. That will be on enhanced reality after this. I'm going to talk about how that idol was sitting there or that advantage was sitting there. This is the Russell Hans show. We calm here. We stay calm here. On enhanced reality, we don't always do that. So if you want that, I'll put the link in the description. Cody is absolutely in control of this game. Not only that, Cody wins the Russell crown. I don't see myself giving it to anybody else at this point. Cody is in full control of this game. Getting rid of Cody is getting rid of Russell. I'm not saying he's as good as me. I'm just saying he is the guy to get rid of. Let's see if that happens. We have, like I said, what, we have two more, two more episodes. Okay, we have Carla. Carla is starting to get a little shady. Um, I don't know what happened w with Sammy, and I mean, I don't know what the hell happened there, but, but, uh, let's talk about Sammy first, okay? Yeah, let's talk about Sammy. I'm going to show you guys a clip, because I didn't know what the hell just happened. Uh, I think that Survivor has a problem introducing us to things that's going on. Like, when it comes to production... Why did Sammy vote for Carla? What happened? We didn't see that in the previous episode, did we? If we did, then put the 
Like, I'm so confused, maybe I missed it. Put a comment down there. Down there. So let's talk about Sammy, and I'm going to tell you what I think about Sammy with a clip that I said, dude, I'm right a lot. I ain't going to lie. When it comes to Survivor, it's like someone that's really good at stocks. You listen to that person. When it comes to Survivor, when I see these people, when I hear them, I'm very good at it. Let me say what I said about Sammy last episode. Check it out. He has way more confidence at this point because of that. And you can tell with his interviews. But I think Cody is more in control of this game, believe it or not. Usually I'm right when it comes to strategic play and players in this game. But we'll move on to the next one. Next, Sammy. And there's tons of moves that Sammy can make that he's not making. Sammy is exactly now acting his age. He's too scared to make huge moves. He's talking all that smack, right? And I like Sammy. I like Sammy the Kid. You know it. But I call a spade a spade when it happens. Talking all that smack and doesn't do anything so far. You want to get rid of big players? You want to get rid, you know, make big moves? Then make them. But it's hard to think that he would do something like that because he's so young. And now, as days go long in this game, you start getting beat down more and more and more. I say this all the time. People quit in this game without quitting constantly. You don't have to physically quit to quit. You see, I knew that Sammy was lost. Nobody else did. Uh, they thought that he was in control. A lot of people thought that he was in control. I seen him faltering. It's okay, my guy. You're young. I know that he thought I wanted to be the youngest player to ever win the game. That's what's so hard about Survivor. Survivor is very, very hard. And a big thing with Survivor is your life experiences. When you got beat down, then you lost it. And you couldn't think any longer because you kept getting beat down. And when you're that young, it's very hard to come back from that and actually thrive with people beating you down. I seen it coming. I seen it. Uh, Sammy was my pick. Uh, I was hoping for the best. I was keeping hope alive with your boy. It did not happen, but I seen it coming. Uh, if you want to play the game of Survivor, it's probably good that you watch every single player's performance that I ever do and listen to me as I look. I don't know who wins, but I see things and I say it. This is how this is happening. This is what I see. This is that. A lot of the times I'm right. Next. Oh, we got Carla. So Carla is the same... She's the same. She is just kind of floating along. Uh, she's not making big moves. What? Is that a big move? Getting rid of Sammy? Somebody that just tried to get rid of you? Is that a big move? That's the biggest move that she's made so far. Someone that's tried to get rid of her. Not a great move. And if we have these type of people at the end of the game to vote for, to win, to see who wins, you know, it's... Let's move on. Next. I don't want to talk about it no more. Jesse. Uh, I said that Jesse was in part of control with Cody in this game. I still think that to be the case. Uh, it's crazy how when I said that, another thing that I said a while back, check it out if you think I'm lying. <coughs> I said that those two was in control. We see that clearly that they, they are both in control of the game. But we see Jesse kind of... He didn't get too much this episode. That's fine. He still may be... Uh, he's in very good position with two idols in his pocket. If he has two idols in his pocket. Next. Uh, Cassidy. So Cassidy... Even with this few amount of people left... She doesn't... It doesn't seem like she's that interesting. All of a sudden... We see that Cassidy, hold on, I got a, this, yeah, all of a sudden, we see Cassidy is in a strong alliance with Carla, all of a sudden, 
So we having problems with production right now. Production, pick it the fuck up. May I say? And uh, me, we may be able to understand things a little more as they go along. So Cassidy is in a strong alliance with Carla at this point. I knew I knew that they had an alliance, but not, you know, iron tight. Now, uh, Carla is throwing Cassidy under the bus, so maybe we get some excitement next episode. I think that was a wrong move by Carla to do that because now that throws her under the bus when she had such an easy vote. When you play this game so long, you start losing, like, uh, brain cells, I think. <laughs> For sure. But Cassidy, I still don't see her winning the game. If she does, it will be another Natalie White. So let's see who we have here. Do we have anybody left? We got somebody left. That's it? Is that it? That's it. That's all. So I have a lot to say about that challenge that they did in this episode. Uh, if you want to join me, I'll be there on Enhanced Reality in a little bit. Not live. I'm going to do a video. I'll post it later. But I want to do that in a little bit. Um, I just think that this season is... I'll just give a little example. We had a two-hour challenge, right? And why? Why stop? Why? We had 12 hour challenges before. Make them hang on till nighttime. That's all I'm saying. Breathe. Oh, yeah, and Jeff said something. What did he say? He said, I tweeted it, so let me bring that up real quick he said something in the case of uh jeff says this is old school back when we used to inflict pain wait what why why now why aren't you doing that now because a bunch of babies? That's all I'm going to do. That's it. Enhanced reality. I got a lot more for you. Until next time. Keep hope alive.